In this video I will show you how to make the flag of North Macedonia as a banner in Minecraft and how you can put it on a shield as well. I'm Plector and this is Plector Builds, all about making real life stuff in Minecraft. And today it's all about making the flag and banner of North Macedonia. I have found a village here on my server and let's find out who that village belongs to. Can we find out who these villagers are? Who are these people? Let's talk to this farmer here. It's Ivan Trikovsky. So Ivan Trikovsky and this other guy who his name is Mile Krustev. Hmm, that sounds kind of like a Balkan thing. There's no banners here. We need to see if there are any other signs of nationality on these guys here. What about you? You. What is your name? Artim Polozani and uh, Ferran Hazani. I think I know what uh, people these are. These are the North Macedonians. Dejan Blazewski and uh, Agim Ibrahimi. So, guys, you need banners in your village. Yes, Nikolsi Novizki. You need banners. You need banners in your village and we are going to make it for you. We even have Goran Pandev. So the Republic of North Macedonia, formerly known as just Macedonia, uh, had its flag adopted in 1995 and it kind of looks like uh, something like this. I got three options for you and I'll show you how to make all three of them. And in Minecraft you need a loom to make flags and banners. So to make a loom put two planks with two string in the crafting table like that and that's how you make a loom. Find a nice place where you want to place it like that and that's how you get a loom. And suddenly Goran Pandev has turned into a shepherd. Nice of you Goran Pandev. Now let's start with banners. We need uh, we need banners to make a uh, Macedonian flag. For this Macedonian banner we need red wool and we can put six red wool like this with a stick below it and that's how you get one red banner but what we want to do is make loads of red banners so we can decorate the village so I get ten all together like this right Goran Pandav is ready to see how we can make the Macedonian North Macedonian flag go into the loom and start with a red banner add yellow dye and what we are going to do twice is pick the yellow cross. One and two times to get a sharp line. And we can see here the difference between the first one and the second one that you get a sharp line. We're going to do that with the cell tire as well. And that's going to be the basis for all the three different alternatives that we have. One and two. There we go. Now we have three different alternatives. Two easy ones and one that requires a little bit more. So the first one is like this one. It kind of looks like a button in there and the second one is, is a little bit better. The third one option is maybe the best one but it's uh, perhaps the most difficult as well. Let's show you the first one here. So put the banner that you have created so far up in the loom again and then add red dye find the red roundel like that put it back in the loom and add a yellow roundel in the end and then we have a flag like this it's acceptable but there's supposed to be a distance between the sun and the, the stripes going out, the sunbeams going out. Which we can use a, a uh, lozenge design to make. So if we go back and pick, uh, go back to this saltire, after doing the saltire we can again put the red dye in and find this design called red lozenge or lozenge I'm not sure how it's pronounced 
and then add a yellow die, finding the roundel design again. And now we have this hair. It's better. I think it's better, but it's kind of a little bit wrong still. It's uh, acceptable once again. But uh, once more, let's go back to the cell tire design. And uh, before we go any further, we need a flower charge. To make a flower charge, you need to go in the crafting table and add an oxy daisy and a paper like this. That's how you get a flower charge. Bring it back into the loom here. Put it in the loom slot, in the pa banner pattern slot, and put the banner that you created with the yellow crosses times two, yellow saltire times two, and now we want to add red dye to the flower pattern. Red flower charge, we get it like that. And finally, yellow roundel. You have to remove the flower charge. And there we have a, a yellow roundel. And there we go. That's, that's how you make the North Macedonian banner like that. And if you are playing in the Java edition, let's put it on a shield. So bring your shield and your newly created banner into the crafting table. Bring your shield up there and your newly created banner up there next to one another and that's how you get the shield. One final thing we also want to do is to copy all the shields, um, all the banners Copy all the banners, bring the red banners next to the created, newly created North Macedonian banner. And that's how you copy Then Now we have nine North Macedonian banners that we can decorate the village with. All right, we have now decorated the North Macedonian village that we found on the server. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Whatever you do, remember to subscribe.